All right, I'm gonna show you how to convert this USB drive into a Big Sur Beta 9 bootable drive for your T2 Max and your non-T2 Max. We will make some modifications to the security settings on the T2 system in order for us to boot that drive later on in the video. There are seven steps that we're gonna walk through. I'm gonna walk through erasing this drive so that it's prepared for Big Sur Beta 9. Then we're going to enroll this Mac into the Apple Developer Seed program so that we can download that Big Sur Beta 9. Then we're going to download the Big Sur Beta 9. Then we are going to unenroll this device from that beta program because we don't really need it anymore. And then we are going to install Big Sur Beta 9 onto this drive and convert it into a bootable Big Sur Beta 9 external drive. And then we'll walk through setting up a T2 system and booting that device up from this external drive. So first step, we're going to open up Disk Utility and rewipe this drive. Click on the USB drive, click Erase, make sure it says Mac OS Extended Journaled and Erase. Click Done and Quit Out. Now we're going to open up uh, Terminal command spacebar to initiate spotlight command plus to blow this window up and maybe not that big and then I also want to open up software update so that you can see this in action this is going to search for any available updates that are available for my system all right, so as you can see, I have Mac OS Catalina 10.15.7 update available for this computer. Please note that that update does have issues right now. If you want to find out more information about those issues, please visit MrMacintosh.com or you can visit Mr. Macintosh YouTube channel and search up the 10.15.7 update issues. He gives an awesome overview of it. It's uh, one of my guys, so Give, give that site some love. All right, so we're gonna enroll this device into the Apple Developer Seed program. And we'll be able to see this screen change right away. elevated permissions all right so now this Mac is enrolled in the developer seed program we're gonna see the software update pane change and it's gonna show us that we can download the Big Sur beta if I arrow up I have okay I have this line of code right here this one-liner this is what I normally use to download my full installers as long as I'm on Catalina or later you can run this so this does not work right now until Apple releases the golden master of Big Sur I was using 10.16 and that was allowing me to to actually download the Big Sur betas but since this command isn't working for 10.16 I also tried 11.0 and it didn't work none of them worked so what you're gonna want to do is do it the GUI way and click upgrade now this is going to take about yeah I think it eh, rounds out to be about 25 minutes on my system so I'm gonna go silent and fast forward it for you so you don't have to sit through it all right so we got our Big Sur beta downloaded I'm gonna quit out of this installer that took about 18 19 minutes right around there um, I want you to notice that on this command line right here if I wanted to do 10.15.7 I could download the 10.15.7 full installer without being part of the Apple developer seed program okay so you can use this to download full-fledged versions if I want to go get 10.14.6 I can do that so I'm gonna clear out the screen I'm gonna arrow up and I'm gonna unenroll this Mac from the developer seed program 
by typing this line because it's no longer needed. All right, so we're no longer a part of the developer seed program. Now I'm going to clear the screen, close out this window. I want to open up the applications folder. And you're going to see that I have my install Mac OS Big Sur beta. I'm going to drag that onto the command line. And what we're going to do now is we're going to con install this onto this USB drive and convert this into a bootable Big Sur installer. So we are going to type contents, resources, create, install media, volume, volumes, USB drive. And I'm just going to hit return. Oh, dang it. it! Needs to be done as with root. So to run the previous, and then this is just going to erase that drive again. This is going to take some time, so I'm going to fast forward the progress. Also note that if you have problems downloading Big Sur Beta 9, you can unenroll from the Developer Seed program and then re-enroll and sometimes that will fix the issues with the download not happening. Alright, so that took pretty much exactly 40 minutes to build out the installer. As you can see, the USB drive is now um, labeled as Install Mac OS Big Sur Beta. If I double click on this drive right here, you're going to notice that I have the install macOS Big Sur Beta. I could just drag this application off to my desktop and run it from this computer directly. But what I want to do right now is I want to show you that if I were to open up System Preferences Startup this pane, you're going to notice that this drive does not show up for me to pick as a startup disk. So it's not going to show up on a T2 Mac or a non-T2 Mac in the startup disk pane of the OS. So we're going to reboot into the recovery partition by rebooting, holding down Command plus R. We're going to modify some security settings and then we're going to reboot back into the boot option menu by holding down Option and then we'll be able to choose it and boot from it. So let's reboot this device right now into the recovery partition. I'm gonna hold down the Command plus R to enter into the recovery partition. All right, so now that we're in the recovery partition, I want you to go up to Utilities, down to Startup Security Utility. You are gonna have to enter a password if this is a built system. For secure boot, I need to choose medium security and I need to allow booting from external or removable media. This is the only way I'm able to boot off this installer since this Mac OS Big Sur Beta 9 is not a currently approved OS for this system. I have to reduce the security in order to boot from it. The other thing I want to point out is if I go to so I can actually close this out and I go to startup disk. I cannot choose this and re click restart. You'll see what it says and it's saying you can't change the startup disk to the selected disk. The blessed tool was unable to set the current boot disk. But if I boot up into the boot option menu by holding down option on restart, I'll be able to do that. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to go up to restart and immediately I'm going to hold down the option key. Now you're going to see the Big Sur install Mac OS Big Sur beta. I'm going to choose that and hit go. Now we're booted from that install Mac OS Big Sur beta removable USB drive. So I could go and install it if I wanted to by clicking this. Um, if you're looking to dual boot Mac OS Catalina and Big Sur, I do have a video for that. And I also have a video for if you want to 
dual boot Catalina and Mojave. So either one of those, you might want to check out that for dual booting. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. Make sure you're subscribed. You guys have an amazing week. Take care.